Welcome to the EMR University video tutorial series. In this lesson, we will review the required elements of an ambulatory EMR or EHR for meaningful use and best patient care. When we speak about an ambulatory medical record, we are referring to the electronically stored patient data, which includes all surgeries and care, but does not involve an admission to a hospital. AMRs and related activity are stored in electronic databases called EMR or EHR and are accessible by doctors and other medical professionals so that they can view a patient's complete and accurate medical history. Ambulatory electronic medical record products must meet all mandatory requirements as defined in the Standards and Certification Criteria Final Rule in order to be classified as a complete EHR. The first item required is Computerized Provider Order Entry, or CPOE. CPOE is a process of electronic entry of medical practitioner instructions for the treatment of patients under his or her care. These orders are communicated over a computer network to the medical staff or to the departments responsible for fulfilling the order. CPOE decreases delay in order completion, reduces errors related to handwriting or transcription, allows order entry at the point of care or off-site, and provides error checking for duplicate or incorrect doses or tests. It also simplifies inventory and the posting of charges. The next requirement is electronic prescribing, or e-prescribing which is the electronic transmission of prescription information from the prescriber's computer to a pharmacy computer. It replaces a paper prescription that the patient would otherwise carry or fax to the pharmacy. It's believed to improve patient safety by reducing the possibility of a prescribing error. The third requirement involves the recording of patient demographics. A certified EHR must enable a user to electronically record, modify, and retrieve patient demographic data, including preferred language, gender, race and ethnicity, and date of birth. The next requirement involves patient reminders. The EHR must enable a user to electronically generate a patient reminder list for preventative or follow-up care according to patient preferences based on the data elements included in the problem list, the medication list, the medication allergy list, demographics, and laboratory test results. Another important element of the clinical requirement is that of the Automated Clinical Decision Support System. The CDSS, or CDS, is an interactive decision support tool designed to assist physicians and other health professionals with decision-making tasks in determining diagnosis through related patient data. This system must automatically and electronically generate and indicate in real time notifications and care suggestions based on clinical decision support rules. The physician must be able to create an electronic copy of a patient's clinical information, including diagnostic test results, problem lists, medication lists, medication allergy lists, and laboratory test results. This must be in an accessible and readable format. A 
a provider's EMR system must also be able to electronically transmit, receive, and display a patient's summary record, both to and from other providers, facilities, and organizations. And finally, an ambulatory medical record system used in a meaningful way must be able to electronically calculate all of the core measures and some select clinical quality measures specified by the CMS for eligible professionals.